And we're on your side live at five, getting an update on an apartment complex in Tuscaloosa. And last week we showed you these images and upset parents complaining about conditions of their parents' new apartments at the cottages, saying they were unlivable and filthy. Well, some parents telling us now they've seen some improvements. Others say they're still waiting on repairs and cleaning. Your Tuscaloosa reporter, Brian Henry, joining us live from Tuscaloosa after reaching out to the management. What did you find out there? Well, Sarah, there appears to be a new management team in place, one I did not recognize when I visited the cottages last Friday, almost a week ago. One parent told me repairs are, in fact, being made. Another one is still waiting. Uh, when we first got to her apartment last week. Kenesha Hewitt is horrified by the condition she found her daughter's apartment at the cottages, apartment 254. There was dirty carpets, the couch was dirty, there was hair everywhere. Along with a broken banister, according to Hewitt, Hewitt was not alone. Scores of parents reported similar issues this week. So we just got to figure out when. To... You may recall our conversation last Friday with Corey Higginbotham, who was not happy with what his daughter moved into. So the door's cracked open, go in, she makes this god awful sound, and I'm coming up and I walk in, and there's just dirt in the stairs as soon as you walk in the foyer. It's just disgusting. The cottages team in place last Friday told WBRC its repair and cleanup crews suddenly quit on them a few weeks ago. This is ridiculous. Hewitt says she understands things happen, but still found it unacceptable. I understand that, but you knew that all of these kids were coming in from Alabama, Tennessee, Georgia, New York, whatever. You should have made some type of preparation to get somebody to clean this place in, in locally in, in Tuscaloosa. Parents say they paid $900 a month for their children to live here. They say they expected better. Now, the Cardinal Group management responded today, late today, with a four-paragraph response. Now, paraphrasing it all, the group says, we pride ourselves on the care we show. Last Friday, we fell short, and we apologize. We understand and empathize with their concerns. Now, you can find the entire statement from the Cardinal Group right now in the web version of this story. Your reporter in Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, WBRC 6 News, on your side.